She is so brave. Just walked off by herself. I can't believe they're not letting parents back there, but I'm glad I have a brave kid. I feel bad for anyone that has a scared kid because that would be a freaking nightmare. Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog today. We are making some last minute preparations before we take Evie to the hospital. I didn't want to sleep at all. Nervous? I don't, I don't think I'm nervous. Just thinking, your mind's just, busy. I, like, I was like, I can't be late, I can't wake up late, I can't wake up late. And so then it wakes me up all night. <laughs> and I finally fell asleep, and then I heard the most annoying weird sound. It was, sounded like people talking downstairs, like <laughs> And I was like, who is talking? Are there men talking in my basement? Went downstairs in the bathroom. I had like charged the Roomba. It was the going? The iRobot thing. Stuck on the carpet in Zade's bathroom, making that noise over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> so not it. a man. I fixed it. But then I had to go back to sleep. I was like, this is gonna cost me. <laughs> that Roomba. Um... So we're getting all the food out. So we're gonna wake her up and just take her straight to the car and I'll hang out here. And we've got our doll rewards. Mix, right, tucked into her seat. I was like, that's not staying there. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. She loves eating snacks. I'm gonna have to make sure she doesn't eat anything while we're driving. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, it. it's almost time. We got Playing Champ, nice. we need a blankie. We got our reward dolls Where's after. Champ? Oh, here's Champ's right there. Baby, love you. Where's your shoes? Are these shoes okay? We are all checked in and now they said we can go in. We have to wear masks. You gotta put one on too, sissy. But when I do, even when I... Right when now, to get out. Test? Well, no, they'll take it off for that. But go ahead and put it on right now while we go in the building and I'll carry you. Hey, Mom, I'll get you back. Okay, here we go. Are you feeling brave? You look so cute. That's not good. Start feeling brave, okay? Boo! Ah! You what? I don't want to do my toes. I know, I wish you didn't have to do it. But, can you find the good in it? What are the good things because you're getting a poke? What? Because I get on an Elsa. On an Elsa? What else? There's um, more. I get to go to the pancake place. Pancake place? What else? Nothing else. What about all the fun things that they bring in for you to play with? An iPad and coloring and Play-Doh. And then afterwards, and you can pick your smell. That's a lot of fun, huh? Good job finding the good EB, you're so smart. Kissing through the mask. <laughs> this is gonna check your heart, and your blood pressure. No pokes right now, nope, okay? No pokes. Don't worry. Okay, she did great. Now we're watching a little show. And then you're gonna get to pick your smell, huh? So I'm not allowed to go in the room with her where she gets her injection. Last time I was able to, but because of COVID, I can't. But everybody that's gonna be in the room is gonna come and talk to me in this room. <laughs> Makes a whole lot of sense. I don't understand what the difference is. Apparently, COVID can't spread in this room, but COVID can spread in the operating room, maybe? I don't know. So, that's annoying, but we're gonna deal with it. It'll be fine, because April is the name of her nurse, huh? 
and she's gonna go back there with her. So she's gonna have a different April with her, huh, Evie? And um, she's super brave and so smart. And she gets to bring Champy and Blanky, huh? You are so lucky. That's the good thing. They let you keep both of your Snuggies to keep you snuggy and warm. Um, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> She seems very calm. Yeah, she's the bravest Evie in the whole world, huh, Evie? Are you? Evie, yeah. Do you normally pick a smell to go in the mask? Do you want to do that today? What smell do you want? Root beer. Root beer? Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. She's going to get a little mask for Champy to get a smell too. It's not but, fun. But mom, what if Champy doesn't want to see? He'll stay awake. They won't put the real smell. They'll just put the smell in there and so that he'll stay awake and watch you and go. Mm. Well, he looks cute like that. Without ears? <laughs> he looks like a human almost, huh? Evie's got a little smelly kind of smell. Mm, it does smell like root beer. That smells good. Do you like that, champ? <laughs> and then you wake up. Oh, baby! Is that how it's gonna go? Oh, it fits him. So cool. Does it smell good? Yeah. Mmm, I like that root beer. It smells like a root beer popsicle. What are you going to ask for when you're all done? Um, a root beer popsicle? <laughs> I don't know if they'll have it. Maybe they do. I bet they do here. It's probably something they use a lot of at the hospital, huh? For kids. Root beer popsicles and root beer. Well, I think actually, they have root beer I think slush. I'm going to just root beer to drink. Oh, they have that too. Yeah, you could get a root beer to drink. Forever is it going to have the smell in it? Mm-hmm. You got to take it home forever and have the smell in it. Is that cool? Yeah. Awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. His little it. nose holds it on really nice. Huh? Yeah. Do the injections to see if that slows down the discrepancy. So some, about a half, up to about a half centimeter is considered kind of physiologic. So many people will have a different... Okay, there she goes, walking off. She's so brave, just walked off by herself. I can't believe they're not letting parents back there, but I'm glad I have a brave kid. I feel bad for anyone that has a scared kid because that would be a freaking nightmare. And it's, in my opinion, not cool. <laughs> the doctor just came in and told me she was did great, which I'm so glad. Like last time, she did really good, so I was hoping she'd do good again without me there, but she said she went right to sleep so fast, just And then it went really well, and they did talk about maybe putting, having her go to orthopedics to get an insert for her shoe, for her leg that's shorter. So we'll have to go there next, but for now, we're done, I think. So we'll get to go see her in like 10 minutes. did the best. They said that was the best five-year-old I've already do it. Yeah, it's over. And they said you did the best five-year-old they ever saw with how going how fast you went to sleep and you didn't even get scared. Is that true? That's true. Good job, Evie. Did it hurt? It didn't hurt? See, I told you. I'm so proud of you. Do you want something to eat? Are you biting your cheeks? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you want something to eat? Daddy's gonna be so proud. <laughs> you wanna tell dad anything? Did you leave, did you leave in the car? The dollies? Is that all you care about? Yeah, they're in the car. <laughs> they already do shot. Yeah, you're done. You feel a little silly? No? You're so cute. Champy's thing fell off. That's right here. We got him. <laughs> I could use this thing to sleep last night. You want to bring that home so you can sleep every night like that? Yeah. <laughs>
What? Did you bring scissors in the car? Scissors? Yeah. Why? To get the box open? I'll just rip it with my hands. I don't think I have scissors. <laughs> yeah, because there's like a string holding the doll. Oh, I think I might have some actually. Is that so cool? But it can make I you sleep? That's how it is for surgeries too. Like you they, just go to sleep. How did they do Charmy Lake? They, how did they, they do it? I don't even feel it. Like Cause you were in sleepy mode. Hey, Okay, E.B. Good job being the best five-year-old they ever had. How does that make you feel? Make you feel powerful because you were not scared. Did you know the other girls get scared to do that? Because they just are scared? Do you think that your blessing from daddy helped you? No, she wasn't scared. She just walked on off and sniffed the air and fell asleep. She followed all the instructions. I'm so proud. So proud of you. You're the bravest girl I know. And then she said, did it hurt? Not at all, huh? There was nothing to be scared about, huh? And then now you get your positive consequence toys, right? Yeah. Because you were so brave. <laughs> Do you want me to open them? But I have to, I have to tell you one thing first. When I was in there, they told me something that's not great that has to happen today. You ready to hear it? You have to lay down and watch movies the rest of the day. Why? Because they don't want you to be jumping or walking or running or playing on your knee. They want your knee to just be sleepy and relax. Okay? So I can have to watch, so I can't play dolls? You can play dolls or watch TV, but you cannot jump. And guess what? Zade's birthday party is today and he wants to go to the labyrinth and jump and you can't go. That's what's sad. I'm going to stay home with you. I will stay home with you. Is that okay? Me and you will watch movies and play. No hot tub, no bath tonight. Only relax on the couch, okay? Sound good? Okay. And play dolls. Play dolls, tell stories, read books, relax on the couch, watch movies, whatever else. But you're going to have to miss it. Ah, love is an open door, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Phoebe wants me to play with her. Do you want to go get some pancakes from that waffle place? Yeah. What is the guy's face on the International Pancake House? Do you, do you feel like you're too tired to go there? Or do you want to uh, do you want to just go home or do you want to go there? Shoe fell off. Do you want to go get the pancake house or do you want to just go home? Pancake house. Okay, let's go. All EB wanted to do was eat at International House of Pancakes. <laughs> so we're doing it. She stayed awake. She almost fell asleep on the ride here. But she managed to stay awake. I told her if she wasn't too tired, we could go. So let's do it. Do you want to leave Blinky in here or take it? Take You want to take Champy too? We can't take all this stuff. Do you want to bring your chocolate milk too? Okay, you carry chocolate milk and, and no, I'll carry you. Look, I want to bring chocolate milk. I want to bring on it with Champy. Okay, and I have to carry you. This is going to be tricky. How about Blinky stays? It's too hard to carry everything. I'll carry Blinky. Oh, oh, okay. Come hug me. Did you find it, Evie? No. Oh, we lost Elsa's shoe. Mine. Let me just look in your ear. <gasps> Wait, you found it? It was in your ear. No, I, I knew you found it on the ground. No, it was in your ear. It's cold. She says, well, we went into the restaurant and there was a 20 minute wait. So she goes, please wait out in your car and we'll text you when your table's ready. <laughs> okay. So we're waiting in the car and EB said, COVID is, we shouldn't have done COVID. It's stupid. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah, I agree. We should have just skipped that. Why did we even do COVID? How come we did it, Evie? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We should have just skipped that part. Huh, next time, let's skip the COVID. We don't even have COVID. 
I know. <laughs> I know. We don't. But it's... We did, huh? We did get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But why are they not letting us in when we don't have COVID? Because they made rules. And when people, people make rules, then they try to make everybody follow the rules. But don't worry. Elsa and Anna are helping us out. Okay, Evie, what are you going to get? Um, this face? Yeah. <laughs> Show me the face. <laughs> this is her favorite restaurant just because of this guy's face. Even pancakes. She wants the happy face pancakes. All right, she's got her happy face pancakes. Does that look right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Here you go. Eat them up. Do you want some syrup? Yeah. You push this down and then you spill it. You want to try it? Dade, happy birthday. I know you don't want me to sing to you, but I just got to say, thanks for making me a mom 15 years ago. Happiest birthday, dude. Did you get your present yet? What is it? The tires. Okay. Oh, you admitted you were better at I was better at settlers. Yeah, I admitted. Listen, what was it like? Did they give you a sniffy and then you were like, and you don't remember it? Champy got a sniffy too. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I'm gonna show him. What did you do to Evie? This is Champy sniffy. That's gotta be root beer. <gasps> Sniffy! <laughs> it is Rufy. Rufy, <sighs> did she say Rufy? <laughs> it's root beer. Root beer. Yeah, she, you got roofied for sure. Root beer. <laughs> um, were you brave? The doctor literally came out and said she did amazing. I've never seen a five year old do that. Good. Oh, Evie, you're so brave. How and all the nurses so were like, no, that's true. We, She's the best patient we've ever had. Daddy, look. She's walking back there like, I have to leave her. She walked down the hall by herself. I said, do you want someone to carry her or you walk? She goes, I'll walk myself. And she just walked into the room, sat down, and sniffed the gas. She did so good. Maybe your blessing helped you, huh? Yeah. Good job. So I recorded a little bit of the doctor explaining to me the discrepancy in her legs. Her left leg is 1.4 centimeters longer than her right leg. She said usually after one centimeter, they um, do something to treat it. She's like, usually if it's under a centimeter or up to one centimeter or something, they do a wedge, a one centimeter wedge in the shoe. So we need to take her to an orthopedic doctor to have her fitted for um, an insert that would go into her shoes. She said the only bummer is like it doesn't work with flip-flops or sandals because obviously, which I beg to differ. I'm sure I could fandango a double-sided sticky tape or something on the bottom of her. <laughs> but I don't know. I could figure it out if I wanted to, but bottom line is she would have to wear like real actual tennis shoes or shoes or like cowboy boots or something, but so they just like correct the discrepancy and then the body usually like figures out how to, she's like kids are really resilient, usually their body like fixes it on its own um, as soon as the inflammation's gone. So the thing is, is that they might do nothing. We have to talk to Dr. the Dr. James again because Dr. James might be like, yeah, let's get her a wedge, but she was, the other doctor was looking at her and she's like, it doesn't seem like she's like turning her foot out or pulling her hip up or anything in order to compensate. So it might be on that borderline to where she doesn't need to do anything. Maybe the injection will stop the increased blood flow and like it'll just even out. But we need to take her in every couple months just to like, she said every six months she's going to have to have the x-ray again to check her bone lengths and make sure it's not getting worse. Because if it gets worse than that is when they're going to have to like think of more invasive things to do than just a wedge. But keeping our fingers crossed that it's like so hard. She's always right on the border with things. It's like 
If she was 1.5, we would give her a wedge, but she's 1.4, so it's like we could go either way. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So, uh, hopefully, Dr. James tells me, like, let's just do this or that, because I don't really want to pay for another doctor bill. I think it's like an eye doctor, an orthopedic doctor, the regular doctor, the rheumatologist, and then the procedure doctor, and then the anesthesiologist. It's just <laughs> like one more thing, but I will do anything for my little girl, so it doesn't matter. But if the doctor doesn't think she needs it, I might hold off and x-ray her in a few months and see if this injection has helped things kind of slow down a little bit. So hopefully her body like kicks in and grows that other leg. She also said something that all kids can have a discrepancy of a half of a centimeter and be still considered like normal. That's like a normal, most people's legs kind of grow at little bit different rates and half of a centimeter is no big deal. So 1.4 though is a problem. We've been hanging out here all day, getting ready for Zade's birthday. No, so tune in tomorrow. We're gonna show you all the fun that happened at Zade's birthday party. But thanks for watching. We're just gonna be taking care of EB, keeping her off her feet. Letting her recover from her steroid injection. Let's fingers crossed praying that it takes away the inflammation and we can get rid of this.